In this presentation, we look at some tables in the controlling module. Let's look at the impact of NewGL on the totals tables. Before NewGL, in classic GL, the totals table was GLT0. This had the company code, account, amount, currency and all those information in this totals table. And in classic GL, the profit center accounting's totals table was GLPCT. This had information such as controlling area, profit center, amount and so on. And for the controlling module table, you had the table named COSS and COSP. These had information such as fiscal year, cost element, object number, amount and other information. Now note here, there are no cost centers or internal orders or WBS mentioned here. This is all coming under the object number field. There was a unique object number assigned for each cost center and internal order and other cost objects. And from that you can identify whether this was a cost center or an internal order and so on. Now with the advent of new GL, all these three tables were combined to form the FAGL flex T table. And with this table you can get all the information required from general ledger such as company code, account, amount, currency, from profit center accounting, controlling area, profit center and amount. And similarly with controlling table as well the fiscal year cost element and so on now here the object number has been transferred to individual cost center and profit center so you can get the information from here directly in the new gl fagl flex t table so from going forward onwards when you want to run a totals report it simply you can use a fagl flex t table similarly for your line item reports you can use a fagl flex a or fagl flex p tables. Now it's important that you should know some CEO master data tables and some other transaction tables. For example, the cost element master data table is CSKA, cost center is CSKS, internal order or any order type the table is COAS and for profit center it's CEPC. You should know these four master data table names. Then you can quickly go to SE16 in transaction code and you can see what are the items that you have created. Then for the transaction items, FAGL flex A is for actual line item, FAGL flex B for plan line item and FAGL flex D for totals, line, totals amount. These three tables will have your cost center and your profit center data information. Now let's quickly go through some of these tables. You can go to SE16 N transaction code and type in one of the table names for example CSKA is for cost elements and then you can just specify the chart of account so this is based on chart of accounts and just specifying my chart of accounts over here execute the transaction and you get all the list of the cost elements that we have created so far and if you want if you have more than 500 line item just expand this to more like this and then you can run the report and it'll give you more than 500 items now let me show another table that is CSKS, press OK to continue, that is a cost center master data table. Again here you need to mention the CO area that is your controlling area. Cost elements usually mentioned in your chart of accounts but for cost center master data you mention your controlling area and here I am just going to type in my controlling area I believe it is this and execute and that gives me all the cost center has been created. You can see the cost center ID is here, the description and so on. Now let's check another table. We look at COAS, press OK to continue. So this for the order type categories or all the order tables and here I can specify by controlling area as well, it's coming here or I can even specify by company code. I'm just specifying by controlling area for now. Set them 0, 0 and execute the transaction. I can see all the orders created. So even your product cost collector information also comes in. Also your internal orders if you have created, they will also come up. And you can see the order type will also be mentioned, description and so on. You can see all the basic information in this table. Another important table is the profit center master data table. So that's CEPC. And here also you can just go to the top. And you can see by controlling area, you can specify and just execute and gives a list of all the profit centers created. 
So it's quite useful if you know the table name. So you can quickly go in and 